Yeah! Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Play Captain Toad Treasure Tracker Part 1. And it's me, Aki Forrest, up the helm, controlling the camera and looking like a toad with a flashlight on his head. Looking around for someone waving at me over there. So, let's trundle along. There is no set time limit for these parts, but I will be trying to do... Because I have played a little bit of this game beforehand. Um, it is a very short game, I've been told, so... But I'm going to do everything in chapters. Does that make sense? Uh, because there's the, you go through a book and it has chapters, so... We'll be going through things by chapters. So, and I will try to be doing... I will try to do everything on every single map. So, if many of you have not seen this, this is a take on the mini game that we saw in Super Mario 3D World that I haven't played on this channel, so don't go look for it. <laughs> but I might, who knows. Because um, that's a very fun game in itself. But they've adapted the, uh, the little Captain Toad mini game on that and just turned it into a whole big game. But I'm sure you know everything about the game already, so we're just going to go straight ahead and get on into this. And these guys look way too happy for their own being. <laughs> way, way too happy. But I am 100% chuffed about the existence of this game. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Someone's trying to steal that star. Toadette, let go, you stupid... Oh, dear. Wow, well, she's got... Very strong muscles to hold on to that thing. It looks very slippery to hold on to. There you go. I'm getting Wind, Wind, Wind Waker vibes all over again. Told you it was a book. Alright. The secret is in the stars. Apparently. So here we are with our first level of the day. Uh, I think there's only four levels for this first chapter, so we'll be going through all four. And I will try to do everything, so I'll make this 100% walkthrough, like, complete everything. Not necessarily a walkthrough, but uh, obviously it's still a let's play, because, you know, who knows. Um, but, uh, yes. So we're at the plucky pass beginnings. And it's time for adventure. <laughs> I personally love the existence of this game simply because uh, I am probably the world's biggest and only true Toad fan. <laughs> I have been a big, big fan of this character. I don't know why. I just like him. Okay? <laughs> I don't find him annoying or anything. And I'm so glad finally he's finally got his own game. So that thing you just saw me pick up there is, is a crystal. And there's three of those uh, little gems in this... Uh, the every single stage, so we'll be finding all of those. It's all basic, it's telling you how I'm playing it at the bottom of the screen, so I didn't have to say anything. So yeah, there we go. And I am definitely looking forward to the whole of this in general. Here's another one. And now I have a vegetable. I don't know what I'm going to do with it though, so we'll just throw it into a wall. There's some coins over here. They can be important for lives and stuff. Seeing as I only have two right now. Now the interesting, obviously, mechanic of this is Toad can't attack people. So we have to find things to kill people with. There. Oh, hang on. I'm going to smash everything up here. I'm just going to smash this down as well. Get this. There we go. And we're going to go back up. Um, if there is a bit of a problem with me talking in the audio quality of the game, then don't worry, this is only the first part, and 
I will listen back to it and see how it goes and then I will adjust on future recordings. But this will be every Monday I would be doing this game. So it's a whole chapter uh, of uh, each book I'll be doing. Okay, so we just elevated the whole floor. That's nice. <laughs> Hello. Oh, you've got the final one, have you? There you go, there's all three. And here's a sleeping one. <laughs> He's just gonna sleep next to him. Ah, oh, dear. There's nothing like a lazy Monday. There we go, I've had my sleep. I seem to be very, very happy on meeting him. Toad likes glasses. I've said. <laughs> That's what he digs. So yeah, I can zoom in with the X button here to get a closer perspective because sometimes you will need it. I've got a feeling. Well, I do. You do need it just for those close moments because sometimes it's hard to tell because the levels might be really big or something. So just for that simple purposes. Anyway, I'll shut up and continue. Shall I? We found a star that we lost just a minute ago with Toadette. Ah, oh, this was a given when I when they announced this game. Just I had to let's play it. <laughs> I didn't care what it what it contained or anything because <laughs> I'm totally not prepared for this for this style of gameplay to talk about. But hey, um, so um, yes, we actually did everything there. I grabbed the golden mushroom, which was the hidden objective. It only gives you the hidden objective after you've done it. Um, so unless you haven't done it, uh, then it, that box will not be ticked. But I got all three gems as well. So now we're in the Wall Eye Tumble Temple. And we'll find out what that means in a minute. Right, this looks like a trusty bridge. Eh? Eh? Okay, maybe not. Oh dear. Well, luckily, Toad's a mushroom and can swim. I'm gonna go around picking up. See, it's handy. You can't hardly see, see myself in the water. So this is very handy indeed. We can move a bit faster as well. Is there any more coins in here? No. Let's get rid of this guy. Well, not necessarily get rid of him, but stop him. Ah, I just keep throwing stuff at you. Oops, I didn't miss that. Okay. There's our first gem of this level. It's all good. But yeah, I love this fact that this game exists. I just love it. Oh yes. What's being here? It's a mushroom. But yes, Toad is uh, going off the physics of traditional Mario games. Is uh, He's big at the moment. And then if you get hit, then he turns into a bit of a midget. And then if he gets hit again, he dies. So. We're running off a two hit point system here, uh, but you can, of course, as you just saw, you can pick up mushrooms in and around the stages that will make you bigger again, giving you another two points, uh, two uh, hit points. Okay, got some rotating things in here. Come on, hurry up, because I want to go down there. There we go. Very turny worrany around here. Okay. Right, you guys can shush it. Right, the star is actually over there. And we've only picked up one gem. Uh, we've picked up two gems, sorry. So where is the last one? I could. Where is the last one? <laughs> I believe we should go back down here. Hold on. What are we missing around here? Anything? Hey, watch out. What am I missing? Am I missing? Aha! This is probably where it is. Aha! Thank you so much. Alright then. Now we can go get the star. I've got all three gems. But uh, who knows what the bonus is. Little objective thing. Yes, I will try and do everything, and I mean it. 
even if we just come back to it. Okay, we're going to have to be very fast with these guys because I don't have anything to throw at them anymore. But there we go. We're ten minutes in. I'm making good progress here. Good progress. <laughs> I'm, I'm hoping that these parts turn out to be longer than I, because like I said, this is a short game apparently. So uh, yeah, try and make these as long as possible. Ah, the bonus objective was didn't destroy the bridge. So we're going to go back in and do this level without destroying the bridge. Luckily now though, of course, I don't have to go around picking up the gems. So our target is the star that no longer exists, but it's just faded, if you can see it. So we're not going to cross the bridge, we're just going to go down here instead. It's fairly basic objectives for the obviously the start of this game. So we don't have to worry too much. Oops. <laughs> I went in at the wrong time. Sometimes patient patience is a virtue. Pick up some Marty's. Always feel incomplete if I'm not picking up coins in a Mario game. <laughs> Even if this is just a Nintendo game, but it's a spin off Mario game, technically. Okay, now we can cross these guys. There we go, and we've done it. Awesome! There we go. And we got the stamp of approval to say you're the best. <laughs> okay, next up is Touchstone Trouble. Let's do it to it. <laughs> oh yeah! Oh god, that was terrible. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't had my daily dosage of drink. Okay, so what we got to do here is I've got to get I've got to touch these uh, different things, and they move. Oh yes, and I got a key. Where does that go? Ah, down there. Okay. There we go. Into the door. Unlock it for me, please. I wonder what's inside. It's one of these. Of course it is. Sometimes I will be looking down at the touch screen. Because obviously uh, the uh, the game pads, you can see what's happening gameplay-wise on that screen as well, as well as the one that you you'll be the one that, uh, as well as the one that uh, you're looking at. Well, that you guys are looking at anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean. So how do we get around here? We need to get down there to him. Ah, I see. There we go. We're still missing one. Hmm. Where are we missing one? I'm pressing all the wrong ones here. <laughs> okay, get back in there. <coughs> More importantly, how do we get up to the star to finish this thing? Okay, so... We need a way to get up there. That's easier said than done. <laughs> so yeah, this is definitely more of a puzzle based game. Oh hello, there's the final one. Gotcha! Oh, I'll need to go and do that instead. All three! Awesome! Now, how do I get up there? <laughs> Through some method of cleverness, I'm sure. Ah, here we go. Awesome. Perfecto mundo. Okay, we need to clear the course in three touches. Right. Let's see if we can do that. <laughs> I mean, I've got to say, watch out, Kirby, because the gaming industry now has a new best, cutest character in video game history, and it's Captain Toad. <laughs> oh, damn it, I've screwed this up, haven't I? 
I can see how this would be possible now in three touches. That was the three touches, so we'll, we'll restart. I, I don't know why there isn't a restart option, but hey. It's a nice little game still. Right, and I still touched the wrong one. Can you? Why do you mock me? Okay. This time I'm going to touch the right one. I'm supposed to be touching the one that I'm... <laughs> I'm standing on. Which is here. And then we go up. And then we go down. That's three touches. In a sense, this is going to be kind of like a walkthrough. But it isn't. <laughs> because I will be doing things on the unknown scale, so don't follow me. God, jeez, don't follow me. <laughs> okay, the final one, which should be, I think, is the Mushroom Mesa. So I think there's only four levels on this first chapter. We'll see. But we're on 16 minutes now, that's all good. We got some flappy birds on this level. And they're just as angry. <laughs> It's just as angry as some angry birds. Why has everything got to be popular with birds these days? Here's the first gem. Where does this tunnel lead off to? Looks like we're going to be touching some more panels over there. Hello. Okay. Let's see. Get into here. Going up. Lovely. I love how you can touch the invisible coins on the screen as well, and now they'll, they'll emerge. Come on, shy guy. Don't be afraid. Eat the vegetable. It's good for you. <laughs> well, that's another one. Thank you. Can we hit the bird? Can we hit the bird? Ah, oh, yes. Bullseye. Now then, where's that final gemstone-y thing? I can't hit that bird up there with this one, so... Let's just launch it over there. Oh, that one goes down far. <laughs> right, up we go. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, you go in there. There we go. Going up, all the way. I guess we can hit him when he tries to hit us. Well, we got a one up. Ah, oh, there's our Jimmy. It's somewhere in there. I've got to find it in there. I just want to go about that. You have a gap in you, sir, which I can walk into. There we go. All three. Bubbly jubbly. Back up. And to the star. I hope the bonus objective isn't more touching limited amount of times, because that was pretty complicated, <laughs> knowing where everything was going to go. There we go. I defeated all the enemies as well. Well, there you go, then there's the bonus objective done already. <laughs> Here's a quick tip. You can view the electronic... Oh, shut up! <laughs> Don't turn into Fee from Zelda. Okay, so that actually is the ending, but we got a good 20 minutes out of that. Just a bit less, but still, it's 20 minutes. By the time I finish the outro, it would be 20 minutes. Um, so, yeah, that was the beginning, where the next chapter is entitled The Chase to Pyro Puff Peak, which is uh, almost the takeoff of the game, video game Pyro, uh, py Pyro Pop. Pyro Pop Fever, yes. Pyro Puff Peak. That is a tongue twister, try and say that several million times really fast. But anyway, in the next level we'll, we'll be doing the Double Cherry Palace. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that'll do it for this week, for today. Um, Captain Toad Treasure Trucker, it's here. Hurrah! And I'm doing a Let's Play of it. I'm so happy. <laughs> So yes, uh, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this first installment of what's to be a great little series. 
Um, and it will be little, because I, I don't know how many parts it's going to take up in terms of chapters. Uh, but, uh, yeah. But, nonetheless, um, I'll be here next Monday with more, with the second chapter, with this place. So, uh, keep you, uh, so I'll see you until then, or, well, I, unless you're watching other games on the channel, which undoubtedly you are, but, uh, tomorrow will be Zack and Wiki again, and I will be doing Zelda on a frickin' Wednesday. I seem to be dropping the ball with that. So, we'll be coming back. I know I said that last time when I didn't do it, but I will be coming back this time. Um, and then I'll be doing some other stuff on the weekend with Minecraft, etc, etc, etc. Anyway, um, yes, so there you go, 20 minutes. <laughs> I went straight over. Uh, but yes, I'll thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you however and whenever. Good day and goodbye.